The art of blacksmithing. It's something that without it, we wouldn't be here today. On every ship that came across the ocean to the new country, there was a blacksmith. He was the one that built tools for the ship itself, nails for homes, implements for any tools they might need. He worked on guns, he worked on knives, and most of all, he rebuilt and replaced traps. A blacksmith was very essential then. And we got our name blacksmith because of the working with the black iron. And I still work with it today, you know. Working with metal and working with my hands is, I don't know, it's intriguing to see what you can build. Because most people look at an item and they see a finished product. I have to look beyond that because I want to find out how did he build that, you know. So I have to start with a raw piece of material and do all my shape work and bending and twisting and drifting a hole in it to figure out how he got to that finished product. My family's always been blacksmiths. We can trace our lineage back to about 1400. Very wealthy back then. Not so much nowadays. There's more fabrication and electric welding that people do, so it's cheaper for them to go there. But if somebody wants something traditional, people will have to come to me again. I know the old ways. Not all of them, I'm still learning them. And I've been doing this for 25 years. In the fire, and you have to see it to believe it, there's just a magic that goes on there. A coal fire, I can go anywhere from as low as 400 degrees all the way up to 3,200 degrees, depending on how much coal I put in, how big of a cave I build, and how much air I feed into it. Everybody seems to think when it comes out of the fire, and you hammer it all out, it's done. That's just a little bit of the work. After I get through doing all the rough out stuff, I go to a file and I start filing and cleaning it up and polishing it. You know, there's several steps in there. 80% of the stuff that I build in here is all done by hand. I make ornamental gates. I do cooking utensils. I do traps, do a lot of knives, a lot of tomahawks. I just love it. Blacksmithing is in his blood. He just enjoys working with the metal, and until he gets to a certain point, he doesn't know what it's gonna look like, but he lets the metal tell him what it's gonna be. And he loves it, and that's been his dream. This is the dream. For other people, no, not so much, but for us, this is the dream. I enjoy working with my hands. That's the greatest thing in the world, to look in that fire and be able to see a piece of metal talk to you. I'm not an artist, I'm a craftsman. The difference is, as an artist, he does it one time. I can do it 100 times and come out with the same results.